Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today um, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be using the Stampin' Up! Will written dice. Um, and these have lots of little sentiments, miss you, thanks, all sorts of stuff that you can use for all sorts of occasions. And today I wanted to do more of a technique video where I show you how to use the Silhouette Cameo Pick Scan Mat. And I've already cut, um, die cut the word thanks um, with that die to create like shadow dies or offset dies um, to, to make this stand out more and what have you. So what I will do is, because I've already die cut this, I used uh, basic black cardstock just to you know save a bit of time so you don't see me cranking it through my machine. Um, I'm going to use my pick scan mat and I'm going to uh, place my die cut on the mat. So I'll just move that there. So I'm just going to place my die cut anywhere on the mat, doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use my scanner, scan this in, and then I'm going to give you a more detailed um, tutorial um, for you to see uh, with my computer screen uh, on what to do once you've uploaded this onto the computer. So we'll get started. So what you'll see me do first off is um, uploading this with my scanner and then we'll go to the computer screen. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, hi everyone. So here is my um, pick scan mat here with my printer. And as you can see, my printer scanner bed is not overly large to fit this in there. But what you can do and what Silhouette have done is, is that you can scan directly with your pick scan mat. So you go on one end. So as you can see, I've got this little mark there. So that end, it goes here, you can butt it up right up to the scanner, close it, scan it, then you open it up, and then you pick that up, and you go to the opposite end, and as you can see that little mark is down there now, close it and scan it, and then I'll show you this with the computer, okay? So bear with me, and then I will give you a detailed way of how to do it via my computer screen. Okay, hi everyone. So this is um, the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So I'll give you uh, this disclaimer. It is the business edition of this software. And basically, um, I'm going to now use my printer to scan. So what you need to do is you need to get the uh, pick scan icon here. And that will just come up. And then uh, I'm just going to put one half image of this of the uh, pick scan mat that I showed you just before. So I'm going to press the scanner part, and it says what can, um, what printer scanner I have. So I'm just going to use the WIA Canon IJ scanner, and I'll say import scan image from the scanner, and it says what do you want to scan? And I want to do just color. So I'll just press scan. And what you'll see it do, and you'll probably hear my uh, printer go off in the background. So I'll just wait for a few seconds. So now you can hear my printer. So it's transferring now. And you'll see half the image from the scanner come up. So as you can see, it's as you can see here, that's half the image. And it's upside down, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, the software makes it go the right way around. So now I'm going to now scan the other side. So I'm just doing that now. And so I use the pick scan panel again, use the scanner part there, pick the scanner image there, and then I press import scan image from scanner, and I use the color picture there, and then I press scan. So it'll now do that and give it a couple of seconds. And you'll hear that go off. And you can use this method for any of the dies that you have. Now there are no offset dies for this, um, so why not create your own? So now that I have scanned both sides of the pick scan mat, now we can go into our design. So 
we will just uh, use that icon there, page setup. And then what we want to do here to create this um, offset is go to your trace image there. It looks like a butterfly. So press select trace area and then just highlight your image from there and that's very well highlighted. So what we will put is um, trace and you will now see that there's a red mark around that thanks so let's we can take that out there so for the sake of making this easy let's take that out there then what we can do is we can highlight this image here like that and then we can go to our offset window so just press the offset and here you can adjust how big or small you like it so I can say 0.7 um, we can even put let's say 0 0.005 and make it even smaller so we can create that and press apply and there you have and I can take this out here whoops you have that offset image there and then you can offset this again and I will put offset and again let's make it 0 0.05 press apply and you can go crazy with how many offsets you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these offsets just so that I can demonstrate to you um, how easy that is. Like you can just cut it out with your silhouette machine and then um, yeah, you can do this in any color and for any of your uh, dies that you want and you can go crazy with the amount of offsets that you can do. So what I will do now off camera is actually cut these um, shapes out with my silhouette cameo and then you will see so once that's done actually is that you can go to send and just press you, you know you, t you can take that out it doesn't really matter you can cut that as well um, but I will cut these out separately and um, and then I will get back to you so um, yeah I'll see you shortly so I've just finished um, die cutting, uh, not die cutting, but cutting all of my offsets. So I did one in black. And I'll just take off the painter's tape because I use that to secure my sheets of cardstock sometimes. Um, this is a boring part, but that's what I do with my silhouette mats. That just really helps to keep it all together. And here's one I did earlier. And I'll just take that off the sheet there just very carefully so now I have done the white one which has a little little holes in it so I'll just take them out and this is one of the coolest features of the pick scan mat is you being able to cut out this offset so here's the offset on the thanks and that's from the die cut now I've put it on here and it looks cool so I'm just going to stick it on and I'll just make that hole come off because um, because it's so tiny um, it doesn't come off easily but I'll just pull it from the back and it looks really cool like I really love the effect of it so this can go for any of your dies so if you want an offset for one of your stamped images you can do that um, and you can go crazy with the amount of offsets that you use um, and as you could see I used the scanner f to scan these images in this die cut in um, because I find that the cuts are a lot more accurate that way and I know I like that I like the cuts to be accurate when I was using my phone um, the cuts were always off like they were just terrible and I don't bother using the phone anymore now the versions that this feature works well with is uh, silhouettes up to silhouette 2 I'm using version 2 of the software there's version 3 and I think they're up to 4 but if you don't own the silhouette cameo 4 there's no point to upgrading to that software um, and I was told by silhouette 
um, America to not even to bother to upgrade to that software, especially if I want to use the pick scan mat the way I'm using it. Um, then that's the only way is to use a legacy version. They are working on a fix as far as I'm aware, um, but there's no word as yet. So once there's word and I want to upgrade to a Silhouette Cameo 4, then um, I'm going to wait until that upgrade is finished. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to have the last of these offsets and I did that in black again and, and it offsets like that beautifully. Look at that. Now that there... Sorry, there's a bit there that didn't come off when I wanted it to. So off you go. Okay, there. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to stick this down. I've got glue all over my hands. So I'll be as careful as possible. And you can attach this to any of your projects. So I really wanted the word thanks to stand out. But this is more of a technique video, so you can see how it's done. And I think it turned out really super. I loved it. Check that out. Isn't that just the coolest? Imagine that on a card, a really cool card. So I'm going to leave this as is. But I hope you enjoyed um, this video on how to use your die cuts and then create offsets or shadows um, to uh, use for your projects. I think it's a really cool effect. Um, the pick scan mat, as far as I'm concerned, is worth its weight in gold. Um, and if you use silhouettes 1, 2 or 3, use version um, 7.2. Uh, don't bother with 7.3 or 4. They still haven't got a fix to use your scanner. But hopefully when they do, um, get that fix done, then we're able to use that on the Silhouette Cameo 4 as well. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, um, if you'd like to see any more kind of projects using Silhouette Cameo, please let me know what you'd like to see and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!